I wanted you to take on such a long film is because it's never been done in PQA before. I think the longest film before us was like 10 minutes. Um, I wanted it to be something that really focused on film and TV because I don't think film and TV have had such a big opportunity to be able to do anything like this before, um, especially with COVID. And I wanted it to be something that we kind of set the bar with. So when the opportunity came about and you know you were so passionate about it and so was I, it was a no brainer really. I think doing something that was not only gonna challenge the students, but us as well, was something that we couldn't turn down. And it actually is potentially the best film that we've done. I'm really proud of each and every member of, uh, of PQA. I think that the point of this film was that it was a challenge for each group uh, in different ways. So for example, for Green Group, they're in about five to six minutes in the film, but everything there was a huge challenge for their age bracket. So they were learning dances and vocals uh, and doing more complicated camera work for their age groups. So it was a challenge for them and was the correct challenge for their age group. For blues, you had some of the tougher songs to sing and we had sort of, sort of the bigger dance numbers. So again, I think you're in about eight minutes in the film. That was a, a huge challenge for you guys, learning routines, working with an older group, hopefully listening to everyone and getting those in as well as doing the flashback sequences. And then red group, it was, can you, can you take charge of a whole project? Can you work with the younger group? Can you be focused and be ready and willing to do lots of dialogue, lots of songs and kind of be in charge and kind of move up. So each one was a challenge for each group. I think uh, the biggest challenge was getting everyone to like be quiet while doing the scenes and since it was quite like a big movie there is a lot of like hard yeah. scenes to do. Well personally for me it was sort of like working with sort of blue group and the younger groups because I'm very much closer to their age so they won't see me as someone they won't listen to me as much as they would Matthew because obviously Matthew's just a little bit older than them I'm old <laughs> and because I'm so close to their age and also because my little sister's in green group and obviously all her friends know me as Fionn's sister so they probably wouldn't listen to me as much so that was quite a bit of a challenge to control them and get them to do what I wanted them to do if Matthew was off doing something else and I was working with them. So yeah, that was sort of my biggest challenge. I think um, in terms of my biggest challenge as a director was just trying to make sure that people weren't limiting themselves to what they could do. You know, we've done the shots in this film that we've never done before in any sort of project, you know, that other PQAs may not have done in any project. And it's about making sure that everyone knows that they can just do as much as they want. And it's trying to you know, make people know that they can just go further than what they've done before, you know, do different types of shots, people who haven't done camera before, you know, give them the chances to do what they can, people who haven't done sound, any sort of role that we've done in this project has been people trying to do their best, but more than what they've done before so that everyone can just get above what they can do usually. So I found a lot of the shots that we used were quite unique to us, especially um, we had a long tracking shot where I had to walk backwards and it got a little bit difficult at times, but it turned out it's a nice looking shot. I really like that shot that we had of the dreamers where we were like walking down, because that took a long time, but it, I think it will look really good, so. I think how we've just done it ourselves and it's something that we've all got our own ideas in. And I think it's something that we can look back at and be proud of. I really liked um, the part when Red Group were filming um, Dreamers and we could hear them singing and it was really nice and I really liked um, doing the I Just Wanted to Dance film because we got really wet as well. I liked doing the, when we were doing the Dancing in the Rain song. Oh yeah, that was fun. Um, mainly because I got to run around doing ballet and I looked like a complete idiot but it was hilarious. <laughs> And it was funny when people were like using the water thing to spray and stuff. Yeah, though I think we all got really enthusiastic over that. This film presented, I'm not going to say lots of challenges, but it's such a big thing that we've never done before. I think organising 
and scheduling it to make sure that everybody had enough time to film, that everybody had enough to do in the film, and to make sure that it ran really smoothly as well was a challenge in itself. When you throw in things like people being poorly because of COVID or there was some key people missing when we were filming. But I think the students and yourself and Addy have really made sure that they have all been catered for and overcome and the film looks incredible. I can't wait for you guys to see it. It makes me feel proud. It's really cool to see, um, to see it all pay off. There was a lot of worry that um, they wouldn't have learned them to the best of their ability or um, they weren't happy or comfortable with it, but seeing all of that come together was amazing and I'm really proud of them. It was really nice seeing all the teachers work each week as the person who was sort of bringing it all, pulling it all together. Every week when we were recording a song, I would see how hard they'd been working with Naomi on recording the vocals. When I saw how good everyone was with the script, I could see how much work they were doing with Olivia. And as I said before, you know, we had many different people step in for, for different reasons and they did incredible jobs too. So I'm I, I loved getting the chance to work more closely with each of the other teachers and make a really great uh, project. And we couldn't have done it, of course, without Lucy because uh, Lucy had a lot of belief that we could do a project this difficult. Mm -hmm.